Hi everybody, it's Amy with My Learning Garden and today we are learning about when to use the greenhouse. My amazing husband and kids bought me this greenhouse last year and I am learning when to use it. So in a previous video I had showed you my lettuce transplants and I have a few things to so excuse the mess but I had a few things growing indoors. We had the Walla Walla onions. I trimmed those in a previous video, and my goodness, they are already as tall as what they were before. I mean, we are five, six inches tall. So I think we are really close to planting those in the garden. Um, I don't know how much longer I can keep those in the peat pellets. And then over here, I have my collard greens, and then I have my lettuce tray. So I call this channel The Learning Garden because I'm learning how to garden and I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong. So I had my seedling lettuce in, underneath the blue and red lights. They were doing fantastic. Um, over here we have the Hanson crisp heads. They weren't doing very good at all. All of a sudden they're starting to catch up and I'm really excited about that. I have some freckled romaine. I have black seeded Simpson right here. And then I have some bib lettuce. But what I was noticing is it's starting to get these discolored leaves. So I thought what I would do is maybe it's craving real light, real sun. So I moved them out into the greenhouse and I will kind of watch them closely. The collard greens, they were doing the same thing. They were underneath the red and uh, blue, I think I said red and green, but it was red and blue lights. And they're starting to get these little discolored leaves. So I don't know if that is overwatering, underwatering, under fertilization. I'm not really sure. So I am learning on what to do with these seedlings. So I will keep you posted on that. Right now I have them out in the greenhouse here in Oregon. You can probably hear the rain coming down on the greenhouse. Uh, we had beautiful 60 degree weather. It was a lie. It was drunk weather. It needs to go home. It was amazing weather. And now it's literally 45, 50 degrees raining and cold. So we don't want to plant our seedlings. However, lettuce is a cool weather crop. And so I probably can get away with putting this out in the garden in one of the garden boxes, but I want to kind of acclimate them or harden them off here in the greenhouse and see how they do. I haven't used my greenhouse for seedlings, so I kind of want to see how that goes. And I will take you guys along with this journey because I don't know exactly what I'm doing. So that's why it's called the learning garden. We're gonna learn together. So right now I have lettuce and I have collard greens and I have the Walla Walla onions. And I am probably likely going to try to get these Walla Walla onions planted this weekend. Uh, they have been in the greenhouse for about four days and they are, they're just doing fantastic. So I think as the weather calms down a little bit, we don't have so much weather, I think I'll go ahead and put them out side so they can feel a little bit of wind. I am coming out and giving them a little brush, kind of acting like wind. I do this every single day just so they can kind of get stronger um, and more acclimated to what real, real weather is going to be like here in Oregon. So again, I am in uh, gardening zone 8B and that is here in Oregon. And what's really interesting is that when you when you look up Gardening 8B, it's all over the United States. And honestly, I cannot, I just can't picture that here in Oregon where it's cold and it's raining, that it's anything like 8B in Texas or Florida. I just don't get that gardening zone, but it's okay. We're learning together. So follow me, I will, uh, show you what I am doing with these lettuce seedlings, what I am doing with the collard greens, which is a cool weather crop. Both of these are cool weather crops. And then the Walla Walla onions. So uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I will update you as we are learning together. Thanks.